We knew coming in it was going to be a tough game. You know, obviously our first state semifinal game, but we knew Jackson Center was going to be a tough opponent. You know, they were 24 and 4 for a reason. We knew Brady and Drew were going to be extremely difficult to guard. And you know, I thought we did a good job. I thought our guys battled. You know, we weren't the greatest in the first half. I thought we came out the second half and executed a little better and, you know, made some shots in the second half. And, you know, just like it has our, you know, previous 26 games that we won, our defense kind of hung tough and was able to pull through and get us a win. Talk about the job Austin did both ends tonight, offensively and then what he did on Sosby. Yeah, you know, and he, he's the guy we always put on every team's best player as long as it's a guard. And, you know, we knew Austin was going to get after it. You know, we've been razzing him, you know, the last couple games. You know, he let lots of times go off for 36, and he let the kid from St. Pete have 20. So, you know, we, we congratulate him there in the locker room. That, you know, he held the uh, Division Four Player of the Year to seven points, and I thought he did an outstanding job on him. And then his two huge threes he hit in that first half. Um, we're enormous for us to kind of keep us in the game. We're struggling offensively, and you know, couldn't be more proud of him. You know, that's the role he plays for our team. A lot of people talk about our other four starters, but you know, he's key. And if he wasn't part of our team, we wouldn't be here. Specifically, what was your plan to hold so to yeah. Um, you know, just have Austin, you know, do the normal defense he does, and you know, we were trying to help off a couple other guys, you know, because we knew one we had to stay tight to him because if you gave him any room, how well he can shoot the basketball, and we knew when he put it on the floor, he was tough too. But when we made him dribble, we thought we could run some guys over to challenge him. I thought we did a good job of you know contesting almost everything he put up there in the game, and you know, the guys just followed the game plan. Coach, you guys uh, played the last shot. You know, I think a lot. You know, I, I thought we got out to that lead there in the third quarter and they were able to battle back and, you know, stopped us and made some big plays. But, you know, I, I thought, I mean, that's just the first time in a while we've executed there at the end of the quarter and hate or excuse me, Trevor was able to get right to where he likes to pull up and shoot. And, you know, with his length and height, he was able to get that shot off. And I think that gave us momentum going into the fourth quarter. Daniel, talk about your mentality today. They got the Wildermuth at 6'6. Six, six. But you kept pulling right at him, posting up, taking that. Just take well, what's going on in your head with, with, with that thought? Well, all week we knew that um, we had to attack down low with the size we have. We just, I mean, getting the ball down low is what we do best. And we knew if we could um, if we could have got Wildermuth in foul trouble, it would have helped us out a lot. We, we didn't end up getting him in foul trouble, but we still attacked down low, and we did a heck of a job down there. Looks like you guys really crowded inside the yard, too. It just seems like they couldn't. They had to settle for a lot of mid-rangers, which they, they missed on. Was that part of the strategy to do it? Yeah, you know, like, like I said, you know, in my our pre-game post-conferences, you know, I don't know if we've seen a big as talented as Wildermuth. You know, the way he can, you know, get it outside the arc and just penetrate and get in there and the array of moves he has down low. You know, we were just trying to make everything difficult. And I thought a lot of the shots he made, you know, were pretty tough. He got some you know, easy ones there. But, you know, we tried to pack it in. You know, like I said earlier, just like we did on Sosby, we tried to help off a couple other guys to, um, you know, ch help, you know, Chandler or Derek, who are out of Garmin at any given time to, you know, just, just make it extremely difficult for them. Especially, they have been a couple of wide yeah. layups, too. It just seems like because of the line. Yeah, and, and I don't know. You know, I, I think our defense throughout the postseason has done a good job of wearing some teams down. You know, they were shooting it a little better early in the game, but I thought the third quarter or fourth quarter, not only did some of their shots start missing, but I think even at the free throw line, they started to struggle a little more and miss some of them. And I think that's a, a credit to our defense. Derek, uh, about a year ago, Trevor now kind of famously predicted this state championship or the state tournament <laughs> run. Has he made any of predictions this weekend? He has not. But, uh, yeah, that prediction, I mean, in the off season, we knew that we needed to do something different. Lincoln View needed to have, you know, a better, better basketball season. We went to Eastern Ohio, which is a great camp, by the way. Played a lot of games there. Got so much better. We ended up, we ended up getting to the semifinals there and lost to, like, a D1 team from Finals. Illinois. Finals, yeah. And uh, – but no, we learned a lot there, and that was a great experience. We definitely got better from that. Coach, when you look ahead to Cornerstone Christian, what are your thoughts? Um, is he there playing any role in guarding Bothwell? Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. You know, they're going to be a challenge. Their, their type of style they play is different than ours. You know, they'll get up, press full court, and, you know, they run and jump, throw multiple full court traps at you. You know, they'll play half court zone some. And, you know, it's going to be a challenge. You know, it, it's going to take an entire team effort to con try to contain him, contain him and stop him. But, you know, like it's been in our previous 28 games, you know, I think we have the length and some size to be able to get the ball down low. And we're going to continue to try to play through our strengths because that's what's gotten us to the state championship game. Derek, throughout the uh, tournament run, you, you've made a habit of having a big second half. Uh, 
Uh, and you did it again today with uh, seven points in the second half. You hit the big three in the fourth quarter. What, what, what do you say to yourself at halftime when you're, when you're coming out with these huge second halves right throughout the tournament? Well, whenever I start off slow, I mean, it's it's one of my jobs just to like contribute to the team. We got to get things going and. If I hit a big shot, everything grows from that. If Trevor hits a big shot, everything grows from that. We all kind of feed off of each other and things just work that way. Any more questions? Quick one, Coach, is it Brett? Yeah, Brett, Brett, yeah. I, mean, I probably should add, you know, I probably wish I would have made this sooner, but Trevor Neat was huge for us. You know, I mean, he's almost back to Hunter's fan. When we didn't have them, him for our last two regular season games and so far this tournament. I mean, today's probably the best performance he's had for a while. And, you know, he's the key. You know, he started for us for the previous first 20 games of the season. And, you know, he's pretty much back to full strength. And having him was is great. Is that just a crack in the bone or do you have the best orthopedic surgeon in China? <laughs> I don't know. It, it was a stress <laughs> fracture in it. And, you know, he went to OIO and, you know, they checked at it. You know, he's been off of it. You know, he started practicing a little more probably this week was the most he's practiced. Cause, but it was nice that there at the end of the regular season, we only had one game per week. So he got that entire time off. And, you know, we gave him the sectionals off. And, you know, so he had about three and a half weeks there to, to kind of rest it at the time. So, yeah, I'm glad it heals quickly. <laughs> you think you'll continue to bring them off the bench? Um, you know, probably. You know, he gave us a spark. You know, and when you can bring a guy off the bench like that, that can provide a spark the way he can, you know, we're we're gonna take it. You know, and, and to his credit, he's accepted that role since he's come back, and he's been great. Coach, what what did Hayden Lugwood give you tonight? I mean, he didn't give you a ton of points, but it seemed pretty important defensively. Yeah, I mean, he, he's always with the length and athleticism he has. You know, he just does a great job. And he's had nights like this. He had a night like this in tournaments, some through the re regular season where he doesn't score a lot for us. But, you know, he takes care of the ball in the offense. And defensively, you know, he, he's one of our, you know, we say we make a fist on defense. And, you know, he does a great job of helping out. And this is length, I think, causes problems.